From last minute shopping to mapping out directions, technology has made our lives much easier. It's happening in classrooms as well, where one of the smelliest classes in high school now has a breath of fresh air. Wayne Carter is in the classroom in Mesquite to explain. And I want you to just play around with it a little bit. Kids okay, playing video games in a classroom is a thing. And while Diana right? Sisson students gear up and it, seem ready to blast ahead, their way to a high score, that's not quite what they do here. So here's her male model loading right now. Wow. And that's the muscle system. And now she currently has the cardiovascular and skeletal system pulled up. This is an anatomy class at Horn High School in Mesquite. 90% of my students are going into either the medical field or the nursing field. What you're going to be doing today is navigating the cardiovascular system. Specifically These students get excited about, about the human body and how it works. So down the artery from the... But don't like cutting open frogs and pig hearts. It's kind of nasty, but you know, it's, you know, it's, uh, you know, once you get used to it, you know, it's, it's kind of easy, you know, the scalpel and the tweezers. And that's where these virtual reality headsets come in. Students are able to look all through the human body and see how different parts and systems work and connect to one another. You really get to see what is actually in the human body and actually get to know where oh, where the blood flows and where all, those, all the bones are and the nerves. The technology has another benefit. It's very similar to how doctors are starting to perform surgeries with computers and robots rather than scalpels. The doctors actually program the robots that do the actual surgery, so they're starting to have that medical and anatomical background along with this new education with technology. They still dissect the old fashioned way, but it's no contest. The students say the technology helps their coursework seem to come to life. And with college and med school still in their future, it's exciting to slip on these headsets for now and act just like a surgeon. And do it all without that nasty smell. Wayne Carter in the classroom for NBC5.